Birds land on a wide variety of surfaces over the course of their lives. And despite how easy they make this look, we still don't know exactly how they do it. We're really interested in learning more about how birds are able to do this so reliably and like robustly, and the dynamics and the forces associated with that. We split a perch into two halves, and then each half was on a separate force torque sensor, and that way we could actually measure how much force the bird was exerting with its legs when it was just landing on the perch, and also how much it squeezed with its feet and its claws. And we could use lots of different types of surfaces on this instrumented perch. So we used natural surfaces like tree branches, as well as some engineered surfaces like foam and Teflon and sandpaper to really test the extremes of what the birds could do. We had five high-speed cameras set up all around the bird so we could study not only how it was approaching the perch, but how it would kind of absorb the impact with its legs and then wrap its feet and claws around the perch. What we found was that the birds would essentially use the same strategies with their wings and with their legs on all of the different perches, regardless of the surface. But then they would delegate handling surface features to their feet and their claws. The more slippery perches, the birds tended to curl their claws more. But for the kind of the really rough, like sandpaper for example, they didn't really need to curl their claws. And then when we looked at the squeeze forces, uh, we noticed that essentially perches that the birds could squeeze more, they tended to curl their claws less. This gives us insight both into uh, how animals are able to really robustly perform landing maneuvers in nature in kind of unstructured environments where there's so much variation. But it also can give us inspiration into how to effectively design robots to do the same types of maneuvers. You can imagine that an aerial robot could take off and land on like a much wider range of different environments and surfaces. And so that would be really enabling for any robotics applications. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.